That's right, baby. I got a fade, and every man knows what that means. Superpowers unleashed! Let's go! Today's video, I'm gonna face my boy, my dog, DB Grinder. If you guys are hyped for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. I want you guys to also go show some love to my boy, DB Grinder, down in the description. I'll post his, his uh, YouTube channel. I watch his content almost every single day. I think it is fantastic for all players to learn about the metagame from his channel. I think it's the best channel on YouTube for that. So go check it out. Also, I want you guys to smash the like button. I want you guys to comment down below. What decks do you guys think is going to win? My deck or Sword Soul Jang Jean, whatever it's called. DB Grinder's deck. Comment down below. Triff or DB Grinder. Anyways, let's get straight into the video, boys. It's gonna be a nice one. It's gonna be a dandy. If you guys wanna learn about the new deck and the new meta, because when this deck comes out, it will be meta. It's destroying people in the OCG. You guys gotta stay tuned to the end of the video to check it out. Anyways, let's get started. It's time for Triff versus DB Grinder. Let's go! All right, let's do this. Triff versus DB Grinder. This is gonna be a great match here. And you guys want, I want you guys to look at the starting hands that we've opened with. So as you see, I'm playing Trap Elich. Don't turn off the video. I did this for a reason. You guys need to see how powerful this deck is. But forget my deck, okay? My deck is not in the spotlight today. The spotlight today is the Fusion Destiny. New Vert Destiny Hero. All this. The real way to play Jang Jin. And with the new card that's going to literally, like, change the entire meta. This card brings out the new Dragoon. And you guys are going to witness what future Yu-Gi-Oh is going to look like. From what boss with Moss here, DB Grind is gonna put up. So ignore my trap pad. I know you guys wanna see some pendulums, but if you guys wanna see pendulum destroy Jang Jin, well, just wait a few months, because we're gonna do that every day, anyways. Uh -huh. So let's go. I'm gonna let my uh, Jang, uh, Jang Jin go off here. I'm gonna let DB Grinder play freely, obviously, because we have no hand traps. Mo, uh, Tai A here and Mo Yi, these are kind of like the starters of the deck, and they, 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 they are plus one here. You're gonna get a free synchro. The synchro, you'll get to draw, you'll get to get this trap back, like. It's really good what this deck does. You're going to get a free special summon here. And it's really getting a, a bunch of free negates. Barone is the floor. Everyone knows what this card does. This will also change the meta, I believe. Synchro 10, auto negate, pop a card, special card back in the standby phase. Broken. And here we're going to put up the final piece of the puzzle. The card that's going to break Yu-Gi-Oh, I think. And that is Destiny Hero, Destroy, Phoenix, Enforcer. This card... This card is insane. This, this card is actually ridiculous. For those who don't know what this card does, is... Uh, once per turn, quick effect, destroy a card in the field, uh, on your card in the field, uh, one card in your field, one card in your opponent's field. So then it sounds pretty average, right? Just destroy one card on each side of the field, like an equal, not a plus one. But the crazy part about this card is that it destroys itself, triggering the second effect of this card, and that is whenever a Des Destiny Hero monster gets destroyed, it's a Destiny Hero. Special a Destiny Hero monster from your, on your standby face from your graveyard. So the idea behind this card is it pops itself and a card on my field, and then on his standby phase, it comes back. It, it's unreal. This card is actually so good. So, uh, we're going to have to deal with a bunch of negates here as well as Valor. I'm going to do the the classic uh, uh, Eldritch uh, turn here. I, I'm going to go draw, and I'm going to go set 5. I'm not going to activate Extravagance here, because I know it's going to be negated for sure. So I set 5, and what this card does, it lets him pop now for free. He's going to pop my Black Awakening. I'm like, thank you, my friend. And then he's going to uh, bring this back on the draw phase. I go Scarlet Sanguine. I'm trying to bait. I don't have much. I'm trying to bait the Baronius. I want to get. I need to get this Enforcer card out of here ASAP. I use Conk, so he's forced to do it. And then he's going to pop that. I Chain Needle Ceiling. But gets rid of that. Like, it doesn't even target. So he gets to pop both. I'm like, this is so difficult to out. Like, like what? This is so difficult to out. And it's going to keep coming back every turn. And then he just goes off with one card combo. Like, it's actually so powerful. It's not over yet because we still have Extravagance. And you guys are going to witness something insane here. He goes, look at this. Then it goes Ruddy Rose Dragon, gets rid of all my Elish cards. I'm like, oh my god. This deck's going to be a problem, man. This deck is going to be a problem. And even though it doesn't plus like a thousand, the interrupts it puts up are so crazy. They're all in the level of Dragoon, in my opinion. Like, they're just that good. And there's just nothing I can do. His card comes back. There's nothing I can do. The card, this Destiny Hero card just keeps coming back. I just auto lose. So here I go, I go first now, but we learned that. We learned that. So now on game three, uh, if we get to game three, we're going to learn how, how to stop that from happening. He's going to go pot here. And he's, uh, there's no way any deck plays through all these traps. He draws into Twin Twister. I bait him here. Uh, I'm telling him, oh no, Twin Twister. No, damn it. Uh, no, it's game over. I just wanted him to discard a card. Uh, so whenever he, I'm going to wait a little bit here. I will go Punishment to pop. 
I go torrential. I kind of wanted him to torrent to twin twister because I'd uh, I'd solemn judgment. I wanted him to neg there, but at least now I know he has a twin, so I'm gonna save my solemn for that. I'm gonna pop here. I completely forget that I dogmatic a punishment. Otherwise, I wouldn't have activated these. So it was my misplay. He goes twin and then falls for our trap to solemn. He goes into that. I'm like, uh, whenever this comes out, I'm gonna pop that. And our, our we should have just keep our golden lands, man. We should have just keep it. But that's all right. That's all right. We're still in a great scenario here. We're still gonna go into game three, and you're gonna see a very big brain play here from DB Grinder coming after this duel. Obviously, I set two, and there's nothing you can do in that uh, simplified game state with uh, top decking wrist traps. So we're gonna go game three here, and he opens the combo again. So we're gonna see how this goes. But this time, we have lava golden for his combo. So. Uh, he does a very big brain play. He knows our deck. We know his. So we're going to play around it a little bit. He's going to put up the exact same end board here. Except it's going to be a little bit better. Because this time, he's going to also have the trap card. So look at this. Look at this. He doesn't only have the same end board as last time. Where it's an auto negate. A pop one every single turn. A card that negates a monster effect. And he also has an Icarus attack. For those who don't know what this card does. This card pops two cards. So... He gets to pop two cards, and he gets to pop one with this. That my whole back row's done for. So this deck's insane. I think uh, I understand now why Sword Soul is topping with the uh, the Fusion Destiny, and we got to watch out for this card in the future. Anyways, I draw Lava Golem, so we're all right. He does the massive big brain twelve head play ever. Uh, he he knows I'm playing Lava Golem in Sphere Mode. He recognized my cockiness and, and it'd never be cocky in a Yu-Gi-Oh game. Look at this, ha 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 ha, like. He said he knows Lava Golem's coming because being a little cocky. So he activates this card to pop his own card so I don't Lava Golem him. That way, this card can come back on the standby phase. So it's a very big brain play from his end. I just set five. I got to trigger that. So I go Ice Prison and I just activate another one and then you chain afterwards so I can get rid of the card that comes back. They're both Warrior, thankfully. So Ice Prison is great against this deck, especially going second. He has Ash Psycho Reader. He still has the Jang Jen Shift. And I'm going to be very careful here with how I play. I don't want any shenanigans to go down here with Synchros, what if he plays Black Rose? So I just pop this instantly so I can get back an Ash Dragon. I go into end phase, he's going to Ash my Ash, I believe. And we're going to go straight into the next turn. So simplified game states like this is really beautiful, Yu-Gi-Oh. This is what Yu-Gi-Oh is all about. Not putting up 10,000 negates with Pendulums, as fun as that is. It's only fun for us, not for our opponent. This is where skill comes in a lot. Where it's simplified game, game states of 3 versus 3. He knows I have the Lava Golem, he played around it the whole game. Uh, so how, how am I going to be able to do this? Uh, he activates the effect here to special. I conk Scarlet. He activates that to pop too. I Solemn. I kind of wasted some life points here. He just wanted to pop my cards. But this is okay. I wanted to make sure I didn't lose to any weird synchro that we're not prepared for. I go into Lina here. I go into Unicorn. I got that out of the deck because that has a good graveyard effect. He saw the Lava Golem and knew he was right. <laughs> I set two here. I just have to be prepared here through... I have to make sure I have at least one interruption through his top deck. Uh, the card he had was a graveyard effect, so I have to get rid of it ASAP so I don't have to deal with it. And now he joined the pot, which is obviously great for him. But I did secure the Conquistador. I could have done 3,500 more damage with my Golden Lord, but it doesn't secure my Conquistador. So here I let him pot, and uh, he's going to draw... He draws that there's no L here because of Conk, and then that's our game. So that's a great match there. Uh, DB Grinder, that's my dog right there. We're going to have a lot more content with him involved. And uh, later this week, I'll be showcasing uh, another match against him. And, and it's uh, it was a really good match. I was playing Pendulums with that match. And it's just a massive 10 head brain, big brain plays. I've been doing the Pendulums, you guys could see in that video. So it was really cool there, actually. And uh, later today, I'm going to be doing a discussion uh, on my Patreon about better ways to defeat Jang Jian, or Sword Soul, whatever they're going to be called. Uh, because of Fusion Destiny, this card poses a threat to a lot of decks. It's just so good, this card. So I'll be discussing how to defeat Jang Jing on Patreon. If you guys want to go sign up down below, 15% off for yearly memberships. So go check that out down below. And uh, also, I'll be showcasing a quick deck list right now of the deck I played for this match. This is the deck list that I used to face off against DB Grinder. The same list that I showcased yesterday at my, for my Elish, or two days ago for my Elish deck profile. I think this deck is unbelievable and has no bad matchups. Uh, non ironically, Sword Soul poses a threat because if you pop two cards with the trap card, if you pop one card with the Destiny Hero uh, uh, Fusion, and then you could pop another with the Fusion and then another with Baroness, that's five pops before like the main phase. Like, it's just unreal. So. Uh, it poses a threat, actually, to be honest, that deck, if they drop good. So, you need to have your, your healthy dose of Lava Golems and Sphere Modes. 
anyways that's it for the video hope you guys enjoy this video hope you guys enjoy this style of content where it's triff versus we're gonna be doing more of this so you guys can see not just duels but decks as well so both duels and deck lists uh and obviously you'll see replays sorry you'll be seeing combo tutorials in the duels so it kind of hits every everything in Yu-Gi-Oh combined in one and we feature cool people like db grinder whose content i respect a lot i respect him a lot too it, it, it's it kind of brings off full circle for content that i personally love the most that i would watch if i was a, a random watcher watching youtube anyways hope you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the subscribe button smash the subscribe button for db grinder as well smash the like button comment down below if you guys are right that if you, if you called it in the beginning and i'll see you guys in the next video peace